right, first of all, welcome back. This is Prize Draw Sunday. As we roll along with these, rolling down towards the one a month reduction we're going to do in the new year, we have some rather fun ones to give away in the meantime. However, it leads to first of all say thank you so much to Andrew, our friend in New York City. He sent us those rather amazing number plates. They're 1951, 1954, 1957 American number plates, original plates, and he found them in a building reconstruction, wasn't it, Penn? Yeah, he's renovating the building. That's it, renovating an old building, found them under the floorboard. So he contacted us and said, obviously they were put there by somebody for posterity, somebody who was intending for them to be found in the future and to be cherished and loved. And what better way than to put them on the wall for the whole world to see. Thousands of people get to see them, almost like a painting going to an exhibition or an art gallery, eh, Pen? <laughs> there we go. So thank you so much, Andrew. Really appreciate that, brother. That's the kind of thing we absolutely love. They are pride of place there. We'll stay there and look rather fantastic. Everyone can see them. Really, really amazingly collectible things. Thanks. Fantastic. Thank you so much. Right. Secondly, okay, in yesterday's video, you did see this, the Zoom microphone. We invested our goodly patrons' money in this. Now, as you know, we are supported largely pretty much 99% by patrons, and they give us a little money each month that they can afford in response to whatever they want to do. Maybe it be that they learn something, they save some money on servicing and whatnot, and they decide to support and to help us along. So with that, we save that money up, and we always make sure that we, in a dedicated way, we put that money only towards improving the channel. Now the camera that you're watching on was exactly that. That was a big investment about a year ago and not so long ago as we said on a video that had to be completely refurbished because I've got a little piece of welding splat on the lens uh, which I now take precautions of and obviously that had to be serviced as well because it was a year in so these things happen. It's a very very cool camera and we invested in that. Now as we went along one of the biggest things that we've had criticisms for right since two years ago, hey Ben, yes. when we first came into this garage was the sound. Now the absolutely appalling acoustic in this garage, in this space, was what led to it. If you go back to the very first Project Garage video when I walked in here when there was nothing in here, it was absolutely bare to the walls. You couldn't even hear yourself think it was that bad. So we've invested, we've gone along, we've done everything including making sound catches. These things on the ceiling show, Pen. These little green cloth boxes, they're designed to catch echo and to reduce it. And obviously all the shapes of the units, they've helped a lot. Soft surfaces wherever we can, things like this, and it really has worked. And most of that, nearly all of it, especially these things, this comes at the advice of you guys. And one other thing that lots and lots of you said was get standalone sound recorder. So here we are. We invested in a Zoom H2 microphone. This is a standalone recorder. You, I'm not going to sell it because we're not. I went and bought it. I went to Maplin's, one of the you know supply shops that does electrical goods. And we just invested it. it. Had a special deal on. What you do with all these things? You have a look on the net. You find the cheapest price on eBay. Go along to Maplin's and they match it. It's 129 pounds. The best price I've seen for one of them. A big investment, yes. But as you saw yesterday, I started off using it out on the bike. I want to do a little bit more riding. I want to get back to the FRO log videos. Loads and loads of you say you want to see those. So I've got some subjects saved up. Going to be doing that in the future. There's plenty to moan about in this life, as we all know. So it's all tongue in cheek. It's all a bit of fun. It's not serious. But that's going to be coming back as soon as I can get that set up. Getting it set up simply means finding the right plug in mic. I've got a couple of options and getting it all right, get all the settings right. It's so many different things. I'm not very techie minded and setting up this sort of tech and equipment. It's all completely new to me. I make it as I go along and just work with the best advice that I get from you in return. So with that, as you can hear today, I'm recording on that right now. It's a standalone mic. It's going to give us a great deal of help with Q&A videos to come. This winter, we're going to be bringing some very special guests in to the video, to the oh, garage, aren't we, Van? We've got some, we're not going to tell you who they are, they're mystery guests until they actually arrive, but we've already got the first one set up and that will be recorded probably next weekend, so that will be a video in about a couple of weeks' time. Uh, a very esteemed YouTube creator, a very prolific channel is coming along, it's going to do a Q&A with us, it's going to bring some questions, we're going to put some of our own, and we're going to make a rather fun video. And that's the kind of thing you need for it, it's a proper video that you would use for uh, vlogging, anything like that, and also literally for straightforward reporting. So one of those in the house now, thank you to our patrons for that, thank you so much, it really is good of you to support us, to help us along the way. If you've ever been helped by this channel, if you've saved money, if you've been able to do something that you couldn't do, or just entertainment, and you wanna help us support along the way, then there is the Patreon link underneath. That's how so many creators these days are supporting their channels. But it is essential, if you are a creator, to make sure that when your patrons give you donations, that you spend it on things that will improve their viewing experience, things that will improve the videos for them to enjoy. Otherwise, they wouldn't do it, would they? So there we are, should we do a prize draw pen? Let's do it. Thank okay, you. prize draw. I can't remember what the number is, but let's do one for a rather, rather interesting giveaway. Okay, it's plenty of time. I've got to sit still because my chair's creaking in the last five minutes. So there we are. It was actually my knees. I didn't tell her that. Okay, now this is the 26 one. You've seen these before. We've did two giveaways for these in the past. 26 one is a wee hot tool, as you can see. 
it takes the form of a 26-bit screwdriver set with all the bits contained in the handle like that. And 26 because basically there are 12 separate bits here up in the handle and they're double-ended like that. So that makes 24 and of course you get one in the end as well. So it's a 26 separate bits and it all stores inside a handle. You've seen these, you know what they are. This is the one, this is my one. It lives under the seat of my Harley. What I like about it the most is the, is the T27. Uh, any of you with Harleys will know the hardest thing to get, you can buy 10 different bit sets and you won't get a T27. They are, I think, unique to Harley Davidson. I don't think only they use them. Normally it goes T25, then T30, it hops over. And if you don't use the right one, if you use a T25, you'll mince the fastness. So T27, very common on Harley, so that's great for any Harley rider. That's why that one lives under the seat of my bike. And we had a chat with Weha, and we managed to blag some more for you, so we have three to give away. They are 74 quid each retail. If you want one, I mean, so many people have bought these. From what we were told, the last time we did one of these, about 30 people went off and bought one for themselves as well, because I think we can all agree that Weha quality, or Viha, however you choose to pronounce it, they are undeniable. They really are top quality tools, as good at least, if not better, than Snap-on and the likes of Facom. So nobody can deny we are good. And one of these is a, a worthy asset to any tool chest or toolbox, especially if you can put it under the seat of your bike, because it is very much a get you out of trouble, get out of jail free tool, uh, Allen bits and all sorts of things. So if you want to buy one, we've got the link underneath to Recon Electrical. Those guys will sell them to you. They're a UK supplier for WeHa. You can contact them and they'll buy them. They have them in stock. But if you want to win one, you need to answer this question. A little while ago, Penny and I made a video. We got on the Harley and we rode up to London to see a friend for lunch in his sushi restaurant. And what we'd like you to tell us is what was the name of that restaurant and where was it? Now, obviously London won't do, because okay. that's a little bit obvious. It isn't difficult. What you've got to do is go into the Harley Davidson playlist and it will be very easy to find from there. You will have to watch a little bit of the video. We can even tell you it's roughly around the middle of the video somewhere, obviously, because then when we had lunch, we came back. That was the middle of the video. We need to know, as I said, what is the name of that restaurant and where was it? Just tell us roughly the street name will be fine. It's not difficult to find. You've only got to watch the video. It's very, very easy. And we will be very flexible as we always do and put just the nearest thing. As long as you've got the gym, and you've clearly tried hard, then we'll put you into the competition for next week, won't we, Payne? That's it. Then. Simple as that. So answers in by when? Friday the 24th of November. Friday 24th November for answers to this address as usual, please. And anything else, Payne? I look forward to your messages. Look forward to messages. Thank you so much. Thank you to Andrew for the plates. Again, brother, really appreciate that. Take it easy. A ride safe. It's getting cold out there now. See you next week. Good luck.